Hi, everyone. This is not the third time we've do we're doing this. Probably not. Um, yes. Uh, so this is Jeff. And this is uh, this is Lexavite. Yep. And today we're going to be. Whoa. We're going to be arting it up with artiness. Uh, yeah. This so is, this so is arty. Gris or gree or something. Glee. Um, I've heard good things. Um. Also, I've kind of gotten tired of playing Pathologic for a while. Yes, this is what we're doing instead of Pathologic. Well, not necessarily. This is like... We're, 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 we're gonna see where things go. So there's a lady, and she's singing. I mean, we're not... We're, we're just gonna do, like, a thing of this. Yeah, like, this is, this is my turn, ostensibly. Yes, yes it is. Apparently, Pathologic was too on point, and oh, oh, the misery of the human condition. Did she just lose her voice? Well, that's unfortunate. Also, why is the world crumbling? Because art. I don't know. This seems bad. Art! Don't you get it? Dude. It's symbolic. Not necessarily. Yes, it is. Everything is symbolic of something else. Dude. Unless she's literally... Uh, I mean, we can just take everything literally. I mean, it's not necessarily literal, but you don't need to, like... Art. Yes, it's art. She's art! Falling. Yes, she's falling. She is falling. And there's, like... Arty... You know what? Deliberately arty games were such a weird trend. They started popping up everywhere. Sometimes... And it was like... This isn't a game, it's art! And I would just want to smack those people because, you know, it's like games are just, you know, they're, they're just... Games are art already. Yes! But God! Like, sometimes people do complicated technical things in movies and film and video. Like, you're allowed to attempt to explore the medium by doing art. I mean, yes. Like, that's... There's nothing wrong with that. Like, and Journey is supposed to be a really good game. And... Journey is... Fucking fantastic. Well, that's an artsy game. It's a fucking fantastic. Yeah, no, but it's also a fucking fantastic game. Yeah, so, so Somet like, sometimes people may. Like, what are you talking about that's artsy but not a good game? Okay. There are. There are quote unquote games where it's like, here is some art, and there's basically no gameplay. Like what? Like. <sighs> There's like a bunch. There's like a bunch. I went on Newgrounds a bunch. Start playing the game. I don't know what I'm doing yet. It didn't give me control. It's. It's 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 it's, it's fine. There's like a. I have like dozens of uh, huh. half remembered. I went left first and. Oh, that didn't that didn't work. Oh, I see. I pressed spacebar to jump and the opposite occurred. Side note. Um, okay, okay. So. Just want to check and see if. No, okay. That's what I thought. Cool. Okay, so. Okay. Um, really, you just press spacebar and she just collapses. This doesn't sound very fun. Huh. Okay, okay. Okay, so far, so good. She's not doing so hot. So she is depressed. Yes, she's depressed. Like a dementor. No, dementors are depression incarnate. Until we figured out that no, actually, you're wrong, it's death. I mean, yes. Depends on which mythos you're looking at, but yes. Yes. Birdies. Birdies. Well, that went poorly. Did you press spacebar or? No, she just collapsed. Press spacebar to depressedly com collapse on the floor. Oh, and now she can jump. Hi. Wee huh. wee. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Give what? me give me the controls one second. I want to see something. Okay. So. Okay. Nothing. Keep going. Am I a bad person if I try to break the cinematic and see what happens if you backtrack now? No. You're only following your instincts. You're only like... 
you're you're like grabbing the only piece of agency that you have like from this game. Well, that didn't work. Please be depressed again. No. No, she's pretty depressed. I don't really have control at the moment. Okay. Well. Okay, so that answers that question. Okay. Sorry, folks, I have for like screwing around, but I, I had to know. <laughs> I wonder if I should tack on plug and play to the end of this video. What? That's a fucking weird experience. What are you talking about? Oh, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Hmm. Well, you are certainly moving right. Yeah. I assume things will happen eventually. Let, let, let the game do its speaking, dude. Stop, like, trying to take it apart. Look, everything should be taken apart. And if I, and if I fail or I can't take it apart enough and there's just, like, a kernel of goodness, then, you know, I give can it, stop. I'm just saying give it the benefit of the doubt. Fine. So how was your week, Jeff? Uh, you know, kind of mediocre. Mm. So far I've been, you know, doing what everyone else is doing, which is being stuck inside because it's the end of the world. It's not actually the end of the world. We'll be fine. It's just, you know, not the funnest way to be at the moment. Yeah, it's why we're not playing Pathologic. Yeah. We might. We'll, 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 we'll get back to it. We'll probably pick it up eventually. I got a thing. You got a thing. So, is it your double jump? I don't know. Oh, it's a constellation thingy. No, it does look kind of like stars. That is, the, that is the aesthetic that it's going for. So, you are moving right. Yeah. Maybe now you can move left. Dear Dude. God. Dude, it's a platformer. What do you Void. want? What I've heard of this game is like, oh, it's all ambient and devoid of challenge. But it's a, a relaxing experience. It's a story. Sometimes it's good to play stories. Like Stanley Parable is totally like. <laughs> Sto I Stanley like the pa original. Stanley Parable is a game. Fucking no, I mean, barely. What the. So maybe, can you? I don't know. I will figure it out. What? What? Let me figure it out. You don't know what's going on here either. So, I jump I, on the thing? I think I need a third one. I think that's oh. what's going on here. Oh, I'm see. missing one. Oh, I see. You have to get the things. Yes, in order to do the things. Mm. I, I can't get up there yet either. Very blue hair. Yes, yes it is. At least the camera is behaving. Well, oh, this is this look. This thing looks neat. It certainly looks like something. It's a really big one of those birds, except it's. I mean, it's a nice set piece. Can you interact with it? Can you jump on it? No. Damn it. It's like the it's like the coolest thing here. You can't interact with it, so I think you're supposed to. There you go. You, you know how you said constellation? Well, guess what? We. Okay. Welp. And now we got this one. So, uh, you went to the place and you touched the thing. Yeah, and now we're progressing. And now we are progressing. Yay. Dude, come on. Got some neat 
parallax scrolling here. So I don't know. Maybe I guess this is I guess the world here is falling apart too. That's un what the hell? Color. Red, the color of sadness. And blood. And the blood. That 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 the person spills and then other people become sad. Or happy, depending on how much of your mortal enemy's blood is spilling. You've un you've unlocked an achievement, Red. I will punch you. What? Okay, the achievement's pretty stupid. Yes, it um, is. Um, I would prefer not the achievement. I mean, what have you? Ha what have we achieved here? Color. Yes, but there was no challenge. There was no. Also, her we hair just is sort of still blue, which is interesting. Yeah, but it's like red filter over everything. Not a well, red at least filter. I... It's added the red, the color red, to the place. You know, at least everything looks neat. Yeah, it does. You know, Doom Eternal is coming out soon, in like a day. That is a thing that you want. It is a thing that I want. It is a thing that I really want. I'm going to have so much fun playing Doom Eternal. I'm okay. going to kill the demons. So did I lose the stars? Are they there permanently? It looks like I lost the stars. Okay. No. So far the challenge has been going to the place. Yes. And and, say, and like figuring things out. Figuring out that you had to like that you couldn't go to the place until you went to the other place. And it's then teaching you, you the, the damn mechanics, dude. Hmm. Why do you have so much Vaseline? Why not? It's useful for chapstick. Ah, uh, so that's what it's for. Okay. So I guess you have to collect stars and then bring them here? That's what it looks like, yes. Hmm. Less? Well, you can jump. I'm gonna be sliding a bit. Yeah, it sure looks like that. So what? Who made this game? Why did they make this game? I don't know. Why don't we play it and find out? Please stop picking on it constantly. Fine, I'll stop. Well, we need to talk about something. We can look at the thing and talk about things. We can talk about stuff in the background. Oh yeah, talk about Grey Goo. You said that it was okay. It's okay. He's been playing more of it. Yes. I saw some of the I saw some of like the third faction. Yes. Yeah, so it turns out the faction you were uh, spoilers. It turns out the faction you were fighting the entire time uh, in the first two missions are actually secretly humans, um, and weren't some evil aliens. Surprise. Um, and yeah. Um, so the humans did not expect. Patience, dude. It was doing a thing. All right. Yeah. We. Yeah. Now there are some. People. 
pyramids in the background. Yes, it's art, dude. The, all games have freaking parallax art in the background. Just because this is more advanced than usual or artsy doesn't mean it's any different than, like, Sonic. It is very different from Sonic. You know what I mean. The parallax part is entirely reasonable. I mean, yes. No, no, I'm not gonna knock on this uh, on this game's art design. It's good. It's really good. Yes. I'm about to get knocked back. Well. Okay. Seems... Okay. So now. Permanently or no? Okay. I was one that. It's interesting. So does this happen on a timer? No, I think it just happens the once. I guess one thing about the art is how it's, uh, it's not... No, well, maybe it does happen on the timer. How? Okay, the music is also good. Music's real good. So, you're... You A background element. Yes. Hmm. What do I do up here? I just... So if it is on a timer... You have a constant move speed. There's no obstacles to get distracted with. That's what it does for. Okay. So you just stay in here until, yeah. I was protected by it from the wind. Hmm. You were talking about Grego. Yes. Uh, so yeah, the humans did not expect there to be another species, and when they came through... If you remember, the beta were like, it's the silence, and we should blow them up, and so that happened, and so there was a bunch of confusion. But meanwhile, the gray goo also came through the weird wormhole thing, and everyone was like, oh shit, there is this gray goo, which apparently the humans made at some point in their past and then shut down, or thought was shut down. And it turns out, um, it wasn't shut down, and it's doing shit, and growing, and expanding, and everyone is terrified because, you know, Grey Goo disaster is an entirely reasonable thing to be terrified of. What's crazy is that the Grey Goo is just one of the factions. Yes. It's like if StarCraft was named uh, Space Cowboys. I'd have gone with... You know what? Actually, I have no idea what I would have gone with. Okay. Oh. Splat. Um, but yes. Um. Um, but yeah, so it turns out, so basically, like, uh, the first five missions or whatever are playing as the weird alien species we were playing as, which is the beta, which, or beta, as the game continues to call them. I'm gonna get in trouble, aren't beta? I? Beta? Yes. Well, that's bet. Honestly, that might be better than beta for, like, an, an alien race. I mean, it's uh, it's unclear where the name come, uh, came from. Then there's the. Is it spelled with two E's? No, it's just spelled beta. That's stupid. Yes. Um, so then there's the, um, the, the human campaign where you, like, end up being allies against these people and manage to blow up basically all of the gray goo. But as everyone knows, um,. If you just leave a little bit of a um, self-replicator behind, um, problems occur. Like tumbleweed. Oh yeah, like tumbleweed. Um, that was a moot video. Did you watch that video? Yes. That was that was an unfortunate video. Yes. So uh, it turns out tumbleweed is basically gray goo. I mean, it it's spread... just it's any other invasive species. It's like kudzu. Yes. It's a Tum yes, tumbleweed what is a huge hell? problem. Okay, finally, something interesting. I hope this thing wants to eat you or kill you. I it, it don't think it wants to do Maybe any Maybe it's of benevolent. It, it doesn't seem to be bad or good. It just seems to oh, be his. Oh, did you? Oh, no, never mind. What's up? This thing is cool. Yes. This thing is neat. Yes. Okay. I got a thing. I don't know what it is. Right. You know... Why does the wind come in waves? Well, I mean, for it to be a gameplay element. 
No, I mean, I mean, sure, but like, he makes you wonder about how the world works. I think how the world works is it's artsy. Shut up. I mean. You hmm. can't grab that? I was trying to do a thing, but it didn't work. And no, I can't. Alright, well, are you go. Huh. Why can't I grab that? What do I need? Yeah, that, that's no fun. That's never any fun. I can do it. I mean, it's possible. It's just obnoxious. Okay, so now what? We have two stars. And they... It's doing a thing! Yes, it's doing a thing. Okay, these are the ruins of clearly a fallen civilization, right? That's the... What the heck? Have you unlocked the ground pound? Yes. So, you think this is a metaphor, too? Yes, I have. Okay. Do the thing. This is not where I expected this to go. I see. Maybe the culture was about sadness. Dude. I mean. There's a lot of sad people, yes. No, really. Like, maybe it was. Maybe, like, there was a whole. This big misery thing. I wonder what I'm supposed to do there. Goodness. Let me just well, see at least. What... No, I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. It's like. Clearly. It's clear how you're supposed to interact with that. Okay, but but it's, which am I supposed to do first? Well, probably this. Like, which one is the secret and which one is the real? Oh, I mean, probably the 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 the, the, the that thing is what you're supposed to do. Right. Which one is the dead end? Is what you're wondering. Mm-hmm. Whee! Yeah, um... I've made a huge mistake. Eh. Well, only one thing to do. Down and down we go. I think this is like a metroidvania, actually. That would be... That would be interesting. I think that's what it is. Like, given the way I mean, that I got the... the, the, the I feel... The square cloak... I mean, I feel like it's pre I feel like it's presented wrong if that is the case. Like it's like how Hold on. Just though there are like birds coming from your uh Yes, my cloak. No. From I think it's the the stars. Mm, no, it's coming from the cloak. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, you think this you think this girl is like part of this long lost civilization? I don't know. Hmm, what's going on here? I don't know. I want to take it literally though. So, I suppose there's a puzzle here. Let me stop moving. Hmm. I hope you're not supposed to crush all the things. This seems bad. Wait, what? 
They bear me, whoa. Bear me very far upwards. Right. But I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. What the? Okay, I activated something. You fool. You've activated the device. That's now it's going to start gathering solar energy for the laser. What what laser? Some the laser of sadness. There's been no evidence of any any lasers. They will call it the light of grief. The ennobling power of misery. I am... Um, I don't know. Oh, I can't. That's weird. It would have been nice if you all indicated which was walkable and which wasn't, but... Yep. Did you see that? The windmill actually slowed down when I stood on it. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I liked that. Yep. Thanks. I guess, I guess I'm inclined to be mean to the, uh, to R2 games because they tend to latch onto superficial elements like the art and the music and tend to neglect the, like, the game. The gameplay. Game. Yeah. I get what you're saying, but yeah. I don't really see any problems here yet, necessarily. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. You just say, like... I am fully aware I do not have enough... The mechanics. You can... Well, that's interesting. I'm Goodness, what are you supposed to do? Well, I mean, I don't have enough stars for it yet, but... You've activated the device. Yeah, it would let me do things. Oh, it does still let me do things. That's interesting. I see. That's cool. Okay, okay. This is something. Kind of vaguely reminded of the Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time, <laughs> with all the mechanics. One great thing about video games, too, is how, since it's an interactive medium, choices and interactivity can be like a really big thing. I don't know about the Stanley Parable. Did you not like it? I played... There... The Stanley Parable was originally a mod for Half-Life 2. Sure. And I played that. Ah, oh, you bent it. Mm-hmm. You know, some technician, you are making some technician's life hell by bending this thing out of shape. Looks like I can so, bend it back. The original Stanley Parable only had like... Only had like, uh, six endings, and it was like, pretty short. Shh. And I felt like it was as short as it needed to be. At some point, they decided, ah, we could make a whole game out of this. And, uh, I feel like they stretched it out, like, too much. Like, there's... There's basically nothing to do in, like, the Stanley Parable, right? You just have to... Like, just go through a corridor and make like a handful of easy of decisions that don't really involve any gameplay, right? I mean, sure, but it's still it's still a useful and interesting thing about choice and the whole concept of games in the first place. Mm. I like it. I like it, the exploration of the concept. And I screwed up and have to do the entire thing over again. That's fine. Oh, less of the entire thing, that's good. 
Yup, yup. I think as an exploration of the of the nature of games. Stanley Parable does a good job. Hmm. Like the whole, <laughs> like the whole point of the Stanley Parable is like, oh, just you are limp decisions, like a, the the decisions that you can make in a game are by, are constrained by the choices made by the developers. Yes. Yeah. Which, as a message for the mod, seemed fine. You know, it would be nice if you told me where I was capable of standing on you. Yeah, see? It's the little things. Also, when... I'm being reminded of Super there Mario Sunshine. In Super Mario Sunshine, uh, the world was more grounded than in 64. And so they couldn't... So they... For some baffling reason, they decide no, we can't have like moving platforms. So instead, so they had like the moving platforms be contextualized within the world. In the first world in Super Mario Sunshine, there's a windmill that has platforms and a couple of other windmill like things with moving platforms. In. And there was a whatchamacallit, an amusement park. Mm -hmm. And of course, amusement parks lend themselves to, like, moving platforms. Very easily, yes. Yeah. But in subsequent games, they abandon this trend, mostly because, well, one of the problems with Super Mario Sunshine was how, what? well, they just didn't prioritize, I think you're supposed to go up there, is what that means. Yeah, they abandon this trend. What happens if I break these? Nothing. It's broken. Okay. It took me long enough to figure out that I could break them. The Super Mario series benefits from uh, prioritizing gameplay over everything else. Yes. And have the and have everything in the world come like second, which is good. Did you like Super Mario Odyssey? Yeah. I don't know. I... I'm missing a star. I think I enjoyed it, but then I, um... I feel like... I don't know, I did as little as possible to complete the game, and I haven't, like, felt any need to touch it since. Whereas I got, like, more than half the moons. Yeah. It's a balloon. Hmm. Wait, and I feel was like there a thing there that I literally just straight up missed. There was. I don't. I don't think you can go there, unless you can drop through one-way platforms. I don't think I can drop through one-way platforms. Hmm. How do I get this one? No, that's not how. Hmm. Well, this is pretty obvious. You know, Journey did have, like, gameplay. Or not? This has gameplay. I mean... Yeah... This is pretty clearly gameplay. But it's like... It seems to be barely there, you know? Not really. Aha. So 
I guess, weigh it down. That's my guess. Interesting. You can. You actually get heavier, which is really interesting. Iron boots in the water temple. I see when you put it like that. Did you unplug? Oh, did I? Yes. I'll fix it later. It's more of a mess than you think it is. I there's a reason why. Just push it out of the way. There's a reason why I wanted you to be careful. But oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's still. No, the monitor. Don't worry about it. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Although there's just not a lot to talk about. Yeah, I'm still missing one. Well, I think I have to go to the right. You know. You know, the new Half-Life game is coming out soon. Yeah. The VR-only Half-Life game. Yeah. It's... Maybe... Maybe they're just gearing up to, like, release Half-Life prop... Like, Half-Life 3 proper. I wouldn't get my hopes up. Oh, this poor spider thing. You gotta ruin its day by crushing its, uh... It's just a rock. They look like, like, um, what you can call it, hermit crabs. Of course, it'd be nice if I could aim. You definitely should have waited. Yeah, I was impatient. This game seems to do that, doesn't it? No, the poor... You... See? Look, he's fine. For, as a... Yeah, but, like... If you run out in the street and just straight up slap someone, they'll be fine, but you seriously inconvenience them. He's gonna get inside the rock and then run away with the rock and then everything will be fine. See? And now he's got a bigger, better home. I mean, better is subjective. It's a bigger home. Bigger is better. Everyone knows this. You think all the lady hermit bell thingies are like... Like, like, do you think it's, like, a sign of, like, the bigger the rock? I get what you're saying. Because that's, like, the only reason to have, like, a big rock. Aw. You can't slide down. That's disappointing. Maybe her and Kirby are the same species, and Kirby's a species just has a really weird sexual dimorphism. What? What? Kirby could be literally anything. We don't know anything about Kirby's backstory. We don't know anything from where Kirby is from. What he is. What he does. Bizarre sexual dimorphism. I mean, they do make those, but like... Maybe this is like... There's Kirby. no reason to suspect this. Maybe may, maybe this this game is Kirby's origin story. It seems highly unlikely under the circumstances. Here we have Kirby's father. Or mother. Huh. You're not heavy enough. I can see The that. weight of guilt is not enough to, uh, to make this thing go down. Huh. Oh, you have to fall from further. Okay, but how do I get up further? I guess that's how. Like, up here. I see. You must go through some platforming. Yeah. I mean, what would you expect from a game that's a platformer? Well. E not quite. Huh. It's, we had further to go. I saw it pretty much. Soon. Do sins make you heavier? No. Does being guilty make you heavier? No. It makes you feel heavier. Hmm. 
Like, I can't just, like, commit a bunch of, like, mortal sins and come back from the experience heavier. That's not how physics works. Well, I guess maybe with gluttony it works like that. I guess, in a sense. Alright. This thing will click into place, damn it. Huh. Crap. Yep. What are we doing? We're turning on this giant... Thing. Thing. We're reactivating a dead world. Ta-da! So... We're clearing up the red. And this is good. I mean, we're doing things in this place while we have red turned on. I don't... What the... That's it. That's, that's enough. It did its thing. And now there is uh, white, and white is good. It's we already good. had white. Yeah, but it's like more white. We got rid of all the red. Yeah, see? Uh, I don't think got rid is quite how I would think about this. So I guess circles are also a big deal? Maybe that's why she ex she got exiled from her, uh, from her world. Like everyone else. Everyone else turns into into. She spheres. got the ability to turn into a square. Like you saw that happen. That's not what's. Actually, I'm kind of curious what happens if I fall. But uh, let's not find out. Well, supposedly you'll like die, which is the good thing to happen. If you didn't die, that would be terrible. I'm just gonna make more color. It's time for... Blue. Teal? Green? Blue? Teal. This looks like teal. I mean, it's plants, so it's gotta be green, but... It's definitely sort of a tealish color, yeah. Green. Alright, fine. If the game wants... Yeah, the people cannot see the steam overlay. We just got the green achievement! Yeah, the achievement. We have achieved green. The achievements are a little silly here. And down and down we go. So, okay, so I do, I do know why the achievements are there. Why? You know, it's also the reason why you just find, like, achievements just for going through the story. Uh, it's a way for the developers to track how far in the game a person gets. Because they can see what percentage of people get certain achievements. See. So it's just they don't ex so in that case they just don't exist for the benefit of you. It's just we made more constellation. Mm -hmm. So, that was, like, the constellation that was there before, plus five more dots? Looks like. Hmm. Also, the tree grew. I, I will admit that there's, like, some reasons for achievements to exist. Sometimes it's, like... Sometimes it's to encourage people to do challenge runs. Which can be fun. It encourages a bit of replayability. It it can encourage people to do um, to look for like secrets and Easter eggs that are cool, but you might have missed them. I don't know. Then again, if you want to encourage people to find like secrets and hidden Easter eggs. I guess what you do is, like, you make it clear that there is some sort of secret. The game made it pretty clear that there were secrets and Easter eggs, and I've got a couple of them. 
What it's entirely game? possible. This game. Mm. And it's entirely possible that, like, that thing to our right that I just passed is keeping track of. Is there somewhere I can, like, crush at the moment? Mm. How do I get out of here? So, uh, you can't leave? I haven't quite figured out how, you know. Climb the stairs, I guess? Jump off the right? Oh, yeah. There's these stairs here. Hi, stairs. So I noticed that there were plants. Yes, there were not plants before. So I guess we're making... So I guess we're revitalizing the world with our magic <laughs> powers. Mm -hmm. A cycle. Maybe this world goes through a cycle of life through rebirth, and we are the seed of the new world. Dude, I feel like you're reading a little too much into this. What? It's art! Reading into it is the only thing that I can do! That's not true. I can hold... Oh! Stanley Parable is art. There's no reason to, like, read in. It's pretty pretty obvious what's going on with it. Okay, that's worrying. So... Over isn't overanalyzing things like what we do? No. Really? Our community is not just, like, overanalyze well, everything? See. Sometimes, I guess. It's what we do. Little dorks. Hi, little dorks. We'll look at this and like, wow, I wonder what weird biology led to all the trees being square like that. What genetic advantages did these things have? I think it's called an art style. Unless we start, I mean, we already interacted with a square thing on like a gameplay level. So to t so to some extent, these plants are completely square. Cute dorks, hi, cute dorks. Gosh, many cute dorks. I did. I did see like. On the, on the Steam page, it does say that this is, like, a serene game free yeah. from challenge. And that's, like... It's a, it's calm and quiet and soft and nice and adorable and interesting. That was... what? They're the kind of platforms that do the thing. Yep. And... See, there's any challenge. <laughs> uh, oh well. There is, in fact, any challenge. He's it's okay. I'm a square too sometimes. Bonk. And then it turns out, like, oh my god, your body is a square and your head is round. What the hell is wrong with you? What? It, like, imagine if there were, like, arms in your ears and, like, legs on the top of your head, and to that person, when you turn into a square, you are that. What? Because their heads are like cubes, and your body turns into a cube. So, to them, you are upside down. Uh, I guess, kind of. Not quite how I would look at it, but... So, if you... Oh, I see. We explore. Alright, alright. There is any challenge. Hmm. Yup. <coughs> Made it. These are weird trees. You know, in Dark Souls, there's a, the game is very difficult, right? So I've And heard. so, so what ends up happening is that your behavior ends up changing. You end up dying to things. And uh, this ends up making you more paranoid and more cautious. And so you end up like behaving the way like that a real person would behave like in like 
a world like this. Cautious, trying to like make sure that they don't make any mistakes and like get injured needlessly. And it's a way that the that the challenge itself of a game like makes it more immersive. In fact, any amount I mean, those of are all for bonus things. Ah. None of those are required to complete the game. Oh. Rat? Oh, I see. Boosh. I guess if I... The one gameplay thing you've gotten, which is like, ground pound things. I'm going to get more. I, I feel like we're... What? What? It's Why? A, it's what? a square... It's a squapple. So I guess knock him out of the ground? What? Why would I do that? That seems mean. No, don't do that. I'm sorry, friend. It's like... I'm sorry, friend. It's like when you're... Uh, it's like in gameplay, in uh, shooters, how you sh end up like... Either you press E against it, or you shoot it, because that's the only two ways that you can interact with things. <laughs> so in this case, you have... Uh, you have a ground pound, then you're going to ground pound everything because that is the only way you can interact with the world. Oh, I see. I don't. No. Ground pound the tree. What? To give him the fruit. What? He ate a fruit, and there was a fruit on the tree. Oh, clever. I like Nom 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 fruit. Now we make him happy. Sometimes I resent like deliberately cute things. I feel like I'm being manipulated into liking them. Inside. That's something that we should do a whole playthrough of. So what do you do now that I've fed you a whole bunch of apples? Was that the puzzle? I mean, probably. But zoomed in, now he's happy. Aww. Is he gonna turn into a tree for us? No, he's gonna open a door for us. Thank you, dude. Womp. He's a little tree friend. He's square. So he is. So how are you feeling now that we're playing this instead of Pathologic? Curious, interested. Hmm. It's a lot of apples. Jump on his head. Use him as a platform. Realize that one of the background elements is actually not a background element and a platform. <sighs> yep, look at that. <sighs> Thank you, game. Thank you for being so clear with what is a background element and what is not a background element. I guess you need to bring him along. I mean, I did that. Yeah, but then he fell off. Was I here already? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need him to open the door for you. He was coming with me. He, we and then were he friends. Fell up. And then he, f yeah, he jumps when you jump, but his jump is shorter than yours. Yeah, see, so you need to. Yeah. He's helpful. He's a helpful square friend. He's Whee! a key to open the door. He's a helpful square friend. Yeah. Where are we? I'm, I'm so still not emotionally invested. 
I mean, it's still interesting. I've played games like this. Oh no, he can't get through. Now he can. I did it. Well, now you have to escort this thing. What? Um, help? Well, that's interesting. What, he can do the thing too? Apparently. Hmm. Try to make him ground. Can you make him ground pound? I did. I mean, yeah, but like now in normal gameplay. Huh. You get an apple. Hooray. Yeah. I felt. Yep, you gotta do the thing. Friend! Oh, I see. We're okay. We're okay. We're together again. I don't know why you're so attached to this thing. Friend! Yeah. Friend. Friend! Why be unhappy about the simple joys in life? Joys more. I mean, you can like them all. But where did my friend go? I lost my friend. <sighs> you know, I'm trying to imagine like a more har if there was like a more harrowing game where it's just gameplay challenges all the time and then uh and then eventually in the middle there's like a section like this to cool down I don't know I mean Undertale had that towards the beginning sort of I guess it wasn't that difficult what's going on here it's a big tree Undertale on the whole wasn't that difficult unless you did bad things yes well we all know not to do that bad boss. things. Let me tell you, that boss fight is amazing. I will take your word for it, but <laughs> I'm not going to experience it because that would require you... me being terrible. Oh, come on. Oh, what do you mean, I'll take your word for it? Bullshit. You looked it up. I mean, I've read about it. I haven't watched it. Huh. I guess that's better than most. Feels like cheating, honestly. Like you're missing the point of the game if you like look it up and don't do it. The yourself. point of the game is that there is there is con I mean, partly yes. The point of the game is there is content which you don't need. To look at all the friends. Um, there is content that like you don't need to experience just because it's there. And I didn't. I took the nice path. And I didn't experience... Friend! Uh, I didn't experience any of the bad path. I did all the good things. And I was happy. I got a star. Now it's one of two. I need the other one now. Thank you, though. That was very kind. Eee, sport. Sort of like a common... I wouldn't say that that was the point of the game, but more like a commentary on it. Oh, sure. It wasn't the point of the game, but it was definitely the point of the... Um, the, 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 the genocide route. Yeah, so that was the point that I was making. Is that there are, uh, there are things you can do, but you do not need to. It's also against grinding. Like, why are you even grinding? Why are you even doing this? what purpose to make fights easier where is the other star because I know there's got to be a second one you walk into this world and you kill to make yourself stronger 
Doesn't sound very nice. Yeah. Pointing it out just kind of pulls it into like sharp relief. Yeah, that's the point. The fun way to play the game is to like play pacifist, which is what I always do, anyways. Like you know, Deus Ex. I try to I not feel kill like, anyone. Yeah, sure, whatever. But like, it's still a game. Yeah. Like, I guess the whole point is to pretend that it's like not a game. Immerse yourself or whatever. But like, going. But there's still something to be said about going through that harrowing experience anyway. Like, it's a game. It's a, it's like content in a game. I'm confused. Definitely came through here already. So this isn't it. You had one job, Gree. Telling me how to get the next star thingy. I don't think that's its job. I think the whole point is that you're being figuring it out for yourself. Oh, who knows what the whole point of this is? And figuring out for yourself is definitely not the point of this game. Well, it's a point. There's no way, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. No, it would tremble in an obvious way. <laughs> What am I supposed to be doing? Like, being challenged is definitely not the point of this game. Sure. The poor pot. I feel sad now. So what do you think about this game? What is, like... It's interesting. I like Okay, it. yes, but, like... I don't know, are the controls good at least? The controls are fine. I mean, they're not very complicated controls. What the heck? There's a second star here somewhere. It's straight on till morning. Um. How long have we been doing this? I don't know, a while? A little over an hour. Goodness. What great commentary of this game. Eh, yeah, it's entirely possible that doing it you it was probably not the greatest idea, but that's ah, life. Bah. I want to find the last star. My opinions are, on games are great. I look at this game and I see all of its flaws and I point them out. Yeah, but like, they're not real flaws. You're just like picking on it to pick on it. No. You gotta make conversations somehow. And the, and like, you could be like, ooh, it's pretty, or like, I wonder what that does, or... Oh, well, I'm not impressed by its graphics. Huh? It's like, oh, it's pretty, great. Okay. So many games have missed the point by, like, making themselves pretty at the expense of everything else. Why do you think graph... Why do you think, like, graphics became... Synonymous. Such a cancerous word? Like, like, at first it was like, moving from one console to the next was like, a big deal when you went from like 8-bit to 16-bit to the Nintendo 64 or something like that that was like a big deal like that was like an actual there was like a huge like a graphical improvement going to 3d games is like a is like a big deal but now like a you know Deus Ex yes remember how big Deus Ex was yes do you remember Invisible War I'm, I played Invisible War once, yes. Invis so you, if you, you might have noticed that like the worlds are much smaller in Invisible World. I try not to remember much about Invisible War. Well, too bad. I'm reminding you of Invisible War. In Invis, in Invisible War, War like, gra having good graphics and good screenshots was like a thing. And the. Uh, what they did was, um, like, they prettied up the graphics and had, like, really good lighting and all that. But, of course, the more the more better graphics you pack into the game, the more other areas suffer. Like, like all, the all the areas were, like, suddenly much, much smaller in the, 
I mean, an invisible war than in. There are ways to get things to handle things. I mean, invisible war suffered for other reasons too, but. I'm so I think confused. design. It was designed for console first, so complexity took a hit. Yeah. But. Like, what am I missing? In the when in the transition. Dude, have you been noticed anything that I'm missing no. here? No, you are lost, and I am lost too. And it doesn't matter because we're about like. Yeah, but I want to see what the new power is. Maybe you get spikes on your square. That's the usual improvement to uh, ground pounds. No, I think it's probably a double jump of some kind. But um... so if remember in the transition to the PS3 area era, there were like a ton of uh, desert levels. Everything was empty because there was n because like there was. Like, in order to make the games, like, super pretty, you had to, like, take, a, like, all the all the levels ended up empty. So and, of course, a desert level is a good way to make, like, an empty level. And, of course, the prettier, the prettier every el individual element is, the more work every individual element takes, and the more... Pr and the more work every individual element takes, the more the more making the game cost as a whole. And the more it costs, the more it takes for, like, the more... Yeah, but... Like, the safer it has to be. Because... Are you seriously gonna make me do this? Alright, that's fine. Because investors don't want to, like... Oh, it's every time I jump. That's cute. It'd be nice if I could jump properly. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't this like a gameplay element in, in Super Mario? I'm sure. Oh yes, yes it is. Super Mario has lots of gameplay elements. like a short jump? I mean, I think so. No, hmm. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to jump, and as the platform is disappearing, jump again. Or you're supposed to make your way to the left. I mean, yeah, but I can't see how to make my way to the left. Uh, wait, there's more trees there on the... Oh, I see. Oh, yes, I can. There's an optional thing. Ding! You got the thing. Where is this optional thing of which you speak? To the left. So you move right up until you don't. Like it's on the tree there. Oh, I see it. In one of the Marios, there's these platforms that, uh... That swap to a diff that swap every time you jump. Oh, I see. Well, it'd be nice if I could actually do it. Well, I mean. Oh, I don't actually have to jump to do it. Oh, yeah. Clever. Oh yeah, Thomas Was Alone. You played Thomas Was Alone? Mm -hmm. That was a good game. And mm -hmm. it like, had no graphics. And it didn't need it. It was still artsy. It still had an art style. It was still like a thing. Yeah, but it's like, but it's... It still had gameplay. So it is this. A little. I mean, I guess that platforming section was something. Yeah. And also figuring out... You don't need to kill the player every now and then, but it's like... Hmm. Okay, so what do we get now? You have the diamond power. Can you fly? It looks like I can jump really high. Oh, you float. unlocked the double jump. I said that's what I was guessing it was. It's 
So you can't square anymore? Of course I can. Oh, that, that's by holding down. It's not really a double jump, it's more of just a glide. So it's like the cape in Mario, uh, in I mean, Mario it's a World. Bit of a jump. Well, that's something. Oh, wait. I thought those were based on when I was jumping. No, those were the other ones. <laughs> Alright, well, as soon as we get to the next time it's safe, so we should probably... They should probably have, like, Oops. these tree things be different colors for each, uh... F for, like, the types that, uh, change on their own. And the ones that don't. The ones that are based on your, uh... Jump. <coughs> oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Not killing you when you fall. In platformers, like, dying when you fall... When you fall down means that you don't have to, like, redo sections. Or means that you don't have to, like... Yeah. Like, if you fell down from here, it would mean that you would have to, like, okay. redo a lot of gameplay. Well, okay, in any case, the game, the game just auto-saved, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, this was Gree, Gris, however it's pronounced. Gree! Sharp. Well, and yeah, so this has been Jeff. And this has been Lexabite. It has been... An, it has been... It was interesting. It's a fun game. I it's would... not really Lexabite's kind of game. It... it really, really isn't. Sorry. I mean, it's not... Look, it's not like that, that I don't like... It's not that I don't like art or don't or it's don't not like your kind have of, like you prefer your games to like have have a game in it yeah there's a game in it there's definitely like platforming challenges if they're not very hard platforming challenges but like it, there's still totally a game there's still exploration there's still how do i solve this there's still puzzle and thought and all of that it's still a game it's it's not it's easy so who cares? Should Celeste not add an assist mode? I mean, yeah, but like in there, have it, being able to bump down the difficulty is like optional. Yeah. So what's wrong with making a game that's not that hard for people who want to have a different kind of experience? Why do all games need to be hard? I suppose it doesn't. Like, it's still a game. There's still attempting to figure things out. There's still exploration. There's still, like, optional challenges. You just... It, even the option, like... The optional challenges, the one... I mean, some of them I didn't figure out how to do. Some of them were, weren't, weren't that difficult, yes. But, like... Like... It's, it, want, it wants to communicate something, right? Yeah, it's a little unclear and I feel as like to it misses, what. I feel like it misses on opportunities by not capitalizing on, like gameplay yes. i mean you don't know what the point of it is yet i don't know what the point of it is yet i don't know what's trying it's trying to communicate yeah but what are you what are you communicating with like light platforming elements i don't know yet there like, there's more to the game i will find out for right so now, far in so far in terms of gameplay like what i've seen has been kind of like unimpressive like, sure. if you strip away the wallpaper of, like, it's yes. pretty art style, what and you have is, like... Nothing. A basic platformer, yes. But clearly there's more to it than that, and I will find out what it is later All right. myself. Well, you can give, well, you can give me the verdict on how uh, on yeah. how this game holds up if but you keep But for playing. right now, it's certainly interesting and, like, yeah. has good music and is good. But, yeah. At some it... point, we'll pick up Pathologic again. Yeah. Um, Hopefully. Apparently it was too on point, which it's is fine. not uh, so much on point as it is... It's it's a bit onerous, which is the whole entire point. In any case, yeah. Um. So this has been this has been me. And this has been me. And yeah, we'll see you all next time. Goodbye, people. Bye bye. <laughs>